been shooting for over 10 years and today I wanted to do just a really quick video to show you how to do some newborn photos at home with your iPhone. If you have another nicer camera, you're welcome to apply these tips and stuff and do the same thing. But I know a lot of us don't have access to a photographer right now and there's some special moments that you might be missing. So I just, I'm gonna give you a few tips and tricks with the help of my daughter Quinn today, who is two years old and has a mind of her own. So this is not a perfect video. I film a lot of online videos with lav mics and a better team, but we're also here in quarantine and we are limited on our time because of all, our, all of our children. So I'm just gonna do something really quick for you because you're probably as limited on time too. Tip number one is finding where you're gonna shoot in your home. My best suggestion is to find a good window light that you're gonna use and have that come in and add in the lighting that you're interested in. Turning your subjects towards the window so the light hits their face is going to be really beneficial. We're not gonna do a ton of that in my video because my toddler's not gonna to listen that well, but keep that in mind when you're shooting with adults. Tip number two is to clear the area that you'll be shooting in. It's okay if everywhere else looks like a hot mess because you're just trying to survive at this point. You don't need to clean every aspect of your house in order to do this session. You can just have just one little area. Tip number three is what you're gonna wear. You can be as dressed down or dressed up as you want. I suggest choosing colors that coordinate with each other and you don't all come in like matching black polos. That's okay too if that's your vibe, but I really recommend a blouse and leggings um, or a dress if you're, you know, not everything is gonna fit right now and that's totally okay. Um, these are, I'm still always wearing maternity clothes several years later. Um, and then maybe like some creams and blushes and colors like that I feel are really timeless and they are classic and they last a lifetime and they look beautiful on your walls. Those are my children. We're not gonna be doing any wild poses. It's just some gentle posing and normal wraps that you would normally find your baby in around the house. Any of the other types of poses you've seen online, if babies in baskets and hands like this, those, please leave those up to professional photographers who take newborn safety very seriously, as do I. So these are more lifestyle, just a chance that you can get a few adorable pictures of your baby during this time because we know how quickly it goes. Okay. One of the things that you want to do before you start taking your pictures is you want to prep your baby. So you want to make sure that your baby is fed and changed and in the outfit that you want them in. I personally love a swaddle because they will stay asleep and you can get more photos that way. And then I like to unwrap the swaddle as I go along where they're already like laying really nice and quiet. And then you sort of unwrap the swaddle and they stay asleep in that spot. And then you can get their little fingertips and their toes and, and things like that. And if they do wake up, that's okay. You can get a couple of wake shots, which is also really sweet. But an awake baby that is not swaddled is kind of wiggling around. And it's just a lot harder to get those beautiful images that you see online. Okay, so I love a, a good baby bonnet, so I love to put on little bonnets, and if you're just gonna do a swaddle, your baby can be in a onesie, or it doesn't have to be in anything, and um, and she can just, he or she, or they can just be in a diaper, and then you're gonna go ahead and swaddle them up. So one thing that I like to do is, um, kind of for announcement photos, a lot of people like just like the baby's cute face, or the, um, the baby's face and body, which is adorable. So you get your nice window light like this coming in, and then you lay down your favorite quilt or blanket. I like things that have a little bit of texture, and uh, you can make it as big or as small as you want, just for filming purposes, it's just a square right now. And then I'm gonna go ahead and lay the baby um, very gently, already like asleep, changed, swaddled, and then just gently style, just fix a little bit of how what you want to be fixing. When your baby is laying like this, totally flat, you're also gonna want your camera or your phone to be really flat. So you can you know, be as up as high as you want to, but for me, I'm just gonna be shooting it right from above here, and I'm make sure your camera isn't tilted too much one way or the other way. And just flat enough like that. That is adorable. And then kind of coming up. All sorts of different little shots from that same 
sleeping babe. Okay, there you go. And some cute up from above like this. And then you want to turn this way and take a couple like that and just tap in the middle. And then you're going to want to come in and and get some close-ups of baby and kind of keep taking them to what you like to see. After baby has been asleep and I've gotten some swaddle shots, I like to just unwrap a little bit. Sometimes baby will stay asleep, but um, and sometimes they won't. Sometimes they'll get some cute stretches in while you're unwrapping and they're stretching. Maybe your partner takes some photos and don't worry if they miss it, but I think this is just a cute little organic way to show a little sleeping babe kind of love this right and they're just here and they're sleeping still what a good baby hasn't even made a peep just a couple from up here and again you want to be shooting all different ways tap to kind of brighten or darken that was reverse but you know what I mean okay so lots of different options and this baby is naked so you can put the baby in whatever it is that you want to put the baby in and it's just that easy and then one other thing that you can do too is kind of and um you know turn the baby into that yummy light and then this is where you might want to get those little details of baby's fingers just tap on your cell phone tapping on your cell phone screen onto the subject or the part that you want to be the most in focus is a great tip so i really want the fingers to be in focus here so i'm going to be tapping on the fingers and other parts that I want to make sure are in focus. Maybe some lashes. Just try different angles and different little ways of doing it and then maybe you come down and get like little toes. Okay. One more pose of baby alone before we move on to taking photos of baby with parents or siblings is to lay down two little pillows like this and then put a blanket over them like so and you're making sure that this window light that um, we had before is aiming right here and it's kind of cheesy but then go ahead and just place baby right here on the side nice and cozy fast asleep hopefully and then just adjust as needed and sometimes you can take their little hand out Put it right there. This baby is not gonna do that. Come on in and you're just gonna get that yummy light right on baby's face. And then you can come in and get those details again. And it's just a little bit of a different way to take the photos. Now, these aren't gonna be as gorgeous as you know hiring someone who has that beautiful, smooth be baby bean bag, but um, this is the next best thing and it's pretty, it's, it's pretty adorable. And um, again, these aren't, we're not looking for these to be perfect. We're just looking to capture some memories with some good lighting of your baby. Okay, and then again, trying out a bunch of different angles and getting in nice and close. Very sweet. Um, okay, great. Now it's time for you to get pictures with your baby while holding them gently in your arms and for you and your partner to trade off taking pictures of each other. Go ahead and sit on a bed or on a nice little chair. And in my case, my toddler insisted that I hold all three of her babies for these photos. Go ahead and turn your babies just a little bit. Elbow under their heads, okay? And then what you'll wanna do is a couple looking down too. Just go ahead and look at your baby or babies. Smiling, okay. You bring your babies in close, nuzzle them for a picture. Smell all those beautiful heads. <laughs> now, if you have a partner that you might not trust their skills, you could always set up a photo and do a self timer, but that's really difficult when you've just had a baby. So just, you know, give grace to your unskilled partner and hope that maybe there's something in there that has turned out. Okay, and then you'll want to switch with your partner. Then go ahead and have the other parent, if there is one, sit down and hold the babies, and you'll take the pictures. Whoops. One hand. Okay. And where's your babies? Oh my goodness. Okay. That's okay. Baby's okay. <gasps> baby's okay. Where's your baby's eyes? Right here. And where's your baby's head? Right here. Oh, 
can you sing your baby a song? You can tap on it here and then scroll up a little to brighten it and lighten it. Okay. Can you burp your baby? And then you can do a couple this way. And these are great lifestyle photos. Gentle to your baby. Encourage the mother. Oh, can you look at your baby? This could be a very cute one. Lots of moms get on the beds with their babies. Can you turn your baby? Oh, a little more gentle to baby, please. Oh, look. Where's your baby's nose? Yeah. And then can you whisper something into your baby's ear? This also works. This is that, that's called mom skills to save your baby's life. This also works for sibling photos. So if you are trying to get some photos with the siblings together, um, asking the siblings like, where's baby's eyes? Where's baby's nose? Bribing with cookies. We're doing some bribing right now. When you're working with another adult partner, you can just, it's easy, but when you're working with like a toddler or a sibling, don't, okay, don't panic too much if they're only in there for one second. You only need one, two pictures and, and that's really all you need in the end to have the memories that you're looking for. It just doesn't have to be perfect. A lot of times we do, we want perfect. So it is what it is. You just do the very best you can with what you're given. Mom. Editing can be a little tricky. A good way to support your photographers right now where we can't work, we are a non-essential business and that's great. Send out your photos that you take to your photographer and offer to pay them to edit them. They're not, if they're not being shot on in raw on a nice camera, they're not gonna be as highly edited and as high quality as what we have on our equipment. But if they're shot on iPhone, it's still pretty good and your photographer can, can finesse it enough and fix certain things, baby blemishes and lighting and things like that in order just to make these memories a bit more polished for you during these times. So don't be afraid to reach out to your photographer that normally does your photos and ask them uh, if you could tip them or pay them or something that supports them. And plus, how in the world are you gonna have time to edit photos when you're taking care of a newborn and watching Tiger King? Getting some lifestyle shots and um, <laughs> whether they're great or not great and being close up and far away and stepping back is a really good way to tell the story of what life was like during these moments. Um, so you, you can pull back really far, get the shot, and then you can just also come in really close, see what the struggle is. Amazing. And then just do your very best. <laughs> you have just a cute little setup room. You can also do something like this and turn baby's head just a little bit more. Just turn baby's head onto the side just a little. There we go with cookie crumbs. Kind of get rid of that. And then shoot from there. Also, encourage your partner to take lifestyle photos of you during the day in these little memories because around the house, you nursing, or maybe you're sleeping with all of your children. Are you going to sleep? These are really beautiful moments that you can easily um, have your partner record for you on a video or on pictures. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, please reach out to me anytime. And if you did take pictures after watching this video, send them to me. I would love to see them. I love seeing everyone's new babies and just hang in there during this time. Give yourself grace. This is nothing's going to be as we imagined it would be and that's okay. And let's just create something new with what we're given and celebrate that the best that we can. Your nursing or formula feeding or cloth diapering or disposable diapering or whatever it is that your choices are you're just doing the very best that you can right now and so give yourself grace sleep when baby sleeps and send me those adorable baby photos if you have them thanks so much talk to you all soon that's perfect sometimes you need a snack break and that's okay too emotions are running high during this time No judgment on what you're going to feed your baby. You do you, right? Babies. <sighs> also, clean your baby's face. I did not clean my baby's face, and now I'll have to fix it afterwards. I don't know what this is, yogurt? Maybe it's just that newborn dry skin stuff. But clean the parts that you can clean.
and leave the rest. Like if, if your baby does have dry skin, you don't want to peel it off. That's okay. A lot of it's really natural and you can just leave that and you can hire someone else to edit it if you, um, if you did what I did or if your baby has dry skin. So don't worry about it too much. Okay.